And Sunday morning was just like about every other Sunday morning. Had Reveille and we had Chow and picked up some oranges in my white hat to take to a buddy in sick bay. And I come back out on the deck there and some sailors were hollering and pointing. We seen one of the aircraft take a dip and turn around and see the big fire bottle on there and we knew it was the Japanese, or I did anyway. Got to my battle station and we, we got preparation for start firing at the, some of the planes that were coming over, but vessels was in our way. We couldn't fire back the other way because we train around we're too far, we're gonna hit the superstructure of our own ship. But the big bomb that hit went right down beside number two turret in on the starboard side. Right into a million pounds of ammunition that exploded. There was no escape there from down the hatches or down the ladders and everything because everything was all so hot you couldn't hardly do anything. And one gentleman jumped out and I tried to close the hatch and got burned pretty bad. But just pulled the skin off my arms and threw it down because it was in the way. Joe George on the, <coughs> we found out his name later, on board the vessel and he got it, so there's a heaver line, which is just a small nine thread line. And it pulled a big, larger line across and tied it off on the Arizona and went, started to go hand over hand across that line. Everybody was there, people were laying on the deck. People were groaning and hollering and screaming. Everybody was trying to get a shot of morphine and my t-shirt caught on fire and of course they cut all of our clothes off. And my back was burnt pretty bad. All my hair was gone, burnt off. And my ear, part of my ear was gone and had a lot of scars. When I was discharged the first time, I went home. Nobody was around. All the people I graduated with that I run around with, they were all in the service. And that's probably had a lot to do with me going back. Outside, maybe a little revenge. The people that sacrificed their lives that day were are still there and they're still heroes.